know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. Go to any old town or city in India and you will find grand old houses or havelis that were once home to the rich and powerful. Many of these are exquisite examples of architecture that exemplify the best of local traditions, be it in terms of their embellishments or their ability to adapt to the local environment. But sadly, go to Sidpur near Patan, the old Solanki capital, or Shikhavat, or even Chetanad, and you will find many of these abandoned. These cities are no longer centers of plenty. Many of the families have moved on, or the owners just can't afford to keep up the maintenance, which is expensive. In Ahmedabad, on the banks of the Sabarmati, the city's World Heritage City status has helped entrepreneurs take advantage of new opportunities. This is Abhay Mangaldas, founder of the House of MG, one of the city's most popular boutique hotel chains. He's a heritage enthusiast who has taken his old family home and transformed it. Abhay comes from one of the prominent business families of Ahmedabad and he explains how these havelis are an intrinsic part of his legacy. Ahmedabad was one of those cities which had Mahajans. Mahajans were uh, essentially influential, wealthy also people who were primarily mill owners. All the Mahajan families had built buildings like this and in which they used to live from money they made in their textile business primarily. And my great-grandfather, who started off as a storekeeper, went on to start textile mills. And this building he built as a kind of a symbol of his success. So the biggest challenge for me was to try, first of course, to imagine what could happen here because the building was in an extremely poor state of repair. But on the other hand, the challenge was that before one could start imagining how to get rid of the tenants. So that was the whole process and the journey took like almost 15-20 uh, years. Once the tenants were out, a lot of thought and work went into restoring the Haveli. The focus was in keeping the old and adapting to the new, as Abhay tells us. The success here has now made him expand. Most important thing when you see an old building is that you have to have a certain sensibility about the place because you're not going to use it quite the way it was used. You have to reuse it. You have a different functionality that you have to bring into the building, which can only happen if you spend a lot of time in the space. So I spent a lot of time just being around the space for it to kind of talk to me and kind of get a feel of what can come where. For example, we did a swimming pool where there used to be a bank. But the room was big and it had a certain shape and I was imagining that perhaps there can be a swimming pool here. In the Havelis, uh, we have two. One is a carved wooden Haveli which we've not really touched. We've just restored the spaces as they were. We introduced a terrace for kite flying because it didn't have a terrace. And kite flying is a big, big thing here. So in one of the Havelis, the restoration has been pretty much restoration, barring this little addition. But in the second one, we have completely redone it. I think if you go inside that Haveli, the facade and the colours and all are quite avant-garde and, and there is a garden at the back. So it's always a challenge to find people who would have the patience to do small, small nitty-gritty restoration work which doesn't come to them on a plan. The other challenge for most private owners is raising funds to restore these old buildings. Loans are difficult to come by and often it is a chicken and egg situation because it's only with more money spent and improvements that you can actually increase your chances of success. Also developing heritage cannot be one person's lookout. It is Ahmedabad's rise as an important tourist destination that has allowed entrepreneurs like Abhay to cash in and ensure that heritage buildings like this find a new lease of life.